Hello friends, let me introduce myself first. Myself Rajesh Bhuer, presently working as an assistant professor in postgraduate department of computer science. And in this video, we are going to see an important feature provided by Google and that is Google Drive. Before starting this session, I have a very simple question before you and that is how many of you have Gmail account? Because for getting the feature of Google Drive, you will need to have Gmail account. So if you just don't have a Gmail account at this moment of time, so please do create a Gmail account so that you can be able to get the features and advantages which have been provided by this very important tool and that is a Google Drive. As far as features of Google Drives are concerned, lot too many features have been provided. We'll try to see one by one each and every feature of Google Drive. Again, as far as this Google Drive is concerned, it is a storage which is provided by Google for every Gmail account holder. That means you can make storage of 15 GB data on this particular Gmail, uh, Google Drive. Again, the very important thing is that you just don't have to bother regarding the viruses for this particular data. That means whatever is the data you have stored on a Google Drive will be totally free from any kind of viruses in your computer. Similarly, another thing is you just don't have to bother regarding the theft also. Nowadays, the size of Google pen drives is shrinking. And sometimes it may get happen that someone might stole your pen drive or some, somewhere you might lose that particular pen drive. So you just don't have to bother regarding all these particular terms in case of a Google Drive as it is a, available in a virtual form. So I can say that every account holder, every Gmail account holder have been provided a 15 GB virtual pen drive by Google in the form of a Google Drive. Next. Very important thing, you can be able to keep your backup of precious file. Your most important file, your precious file, you can be able to keep it as a backup by using this particular Google Drive. Another feature of Google Drive is you can send large file. Just like quite often this particular difficulty you might have faced that if I have to send any large file as an attachment with my mail, so I might face some difficulties. So at that time you have to either zip the particular file, but sometimes even after zipping the file, you might not be able to atta attach that particular file. So at that moment of time, you have this particular option. So simplest way, place your file in your drive and just share the link of that drive. How to do these particular activities, we'll try to see in a demonstration. So this is another feature. You can send a large files by using this particular feature of Google Drive. Next one, you can access the document anywhere. Just like with the pen drive, the thing getting happened very oftenly that you might have forget your pen drive at your home and you would like to access some of the particular files available in a pen drive at your office. So it, it, it is not nearly, not nearly impossible. So as far as this particular drive is concerned, it is available everywhere. You can access all the documents from this particular drive anywhere. So documentation can be accessed quite easily anywhere by using this feature of Google Drive. Next one, it allows you to access data using different devices. That means simultaneously, it is possible for you to access this particular Google Drive by using your PC, by using your computer, by using your tab, by using your uh, uh, mobile, or by using any other devices. So idea is that at, at the same moment of time, you can be able to use this particular drive on multiple or various number of devices. Next efficient built-in search engine. As far as this Google Drive is concerned, it is having its own built-in search engine provided, which will help you in finding or searching the files from your particular drive. So it is another very important feature. If your particular drive have large, many, num lot, many number of files. So at that time, this feature will help you in accessing these particular files quite easily. Next one, it is having another particular feature of OCR. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. So Optical Character Recognition feature has been provided by Google Drive and we'll try to see. We'll try to see the demonstration of each and every particular thing. Next one, you can share photos, videos or any e-content. That means what you can keep in this particular Google Drive, you can keep, make the storage of photos, 
videos or any type of e content means your scan document your files in any format you can store on the particular google drive next you can open and edit various kinds of document that means you can provide a facility or a permission to multiple users to open as well as edit the document that means if i'll like to share some of the documents and i i want want these particular users to edit that document so this feature is also being provided by google so idea is that as per these particular features are concerned these are some of the feature but the last but most important feature everything whatever has been provided by gmail will be free of cost that means i can say that this 15 gb pen drive is absolutely free to you so how to use this particular pen drive feature or google drive feature we'll try to see in a in detail in this particular demonstration so so i have logged in in my particular account so the first procedure you have to make is will be you have to log in into your gmail account so i have already logged in my gmail account the next part you have to move onto these nine dots which you can see onto the uh, right top corner of your particular screen you have this particular google apps available so you have to click on that particular google uh, google apps or google tools and under that tool you have this particular feature available in the form of a drive so what way i am making i am clicking on that particular drive the moment i'll open this particular drive multiple number of files and folder appears before me so these are the particular folders which i have already created in my drive okay now the very important thing what you can keep in this particular drive so again i'd like to say any type of e content whatever are being frequently needed by you you can keep it in this particular drive and the better thing is that this particular documents you can be able to access anywhere okay anywhere suppose it is needed you can be able to access this particular document so in this particular folders i'd like to focus on one of the particular folder which is again very near to all of the faculty members those who are watching this particular video and that is something related with api okay so of course okay some of you or most of you are definitely waiting for this particular api points and all all the particular things which are necessary for your promotion so what is the first document folder i have created in my particular drive will be api i'll click on that particular one and you can see right from 2008 all the particular subfolders i have created under that particular folder of an api i have joined amravati university in the year 2008 so right from 2008 all the particular documents i have kept it over here so as and when i have to take any particular document for the sake of for the sake of my promotion or somewhat so i can easily access this particular document we'll try to see some of the particular one just like i'll try to open 2013 in uh, 12 13 uh, so this is the particular file i have available and it will be getting opened quite easily as per your need you can be able to access any particular document you can even take a print out of that okay by using a print option you can download also you can take a print out of that particular document also so this way you can be able to keep all the particular things all the particular uh, what we can call frequently needed documents in your in your drive similarly another very important part i will try to say it over here i have created another folder under this particular part and that is something rdbid okay that means whatever are the documents which are frequently needed by us for our identification purpose so all that documents i have kept it over here you can see over here aadhar olakh patra okay then election card my id proof provided by amravati university okay so all the particular documents whatever are being frequently needed by me pan card registration license i i t membership i s t membership so all these particular documents in a scan form i have kept and idea is that whenever it is needed or someone suppose in from the office is asking me sir please submit your uh, true copy of uh, something aadhar card or something so i can be able to straight away take a print out of that particular from this so i just don't have to go go and again i scan uh, take a xerox of that so directly it is possible for you to access this document so in this way in your drive you can create various things okay and now we'll try to see some of the particular features which have been provided by google drive over here so over here in a google drive you have one particular option available and that is under the setting so i'll click on this setting under the setting you have three options available one is the setting which is going to provide you general settings which are provided under the google 
okay another part you have available will be get google drive for desktop very important part over here will be you can create your desktop version of drive and what is the benefit of, benefit of that you can use it just like that of an offline document so as and when you will getting connected with uh, internet so automatically it will be sync so your desktop content and your drive content will be automatically getting updated by using this particular feature and that is a get drive for the desktop so you can create a desktop copy of your google drive on your desktop and again as and when needed you can be able to sync your content next under the particular features you have the first one and that is a my drive so it is a particular one which is showing a display something like this you can choose a different type of display by clicking over here just like this is one of the display which is available which is showing different icons of different folders i can be able to get it in list view form also so this is the particular view which is provided in the form of a list okay so in place of uh, icons now i have a list of documents which are being available and it is also providing you all the particular things like who is the owner of that document who, when that particular document has been modified every details regarding that particular have been given so again i'll click on this so that i can be able to get a grid view so you have two two different types of views available one is a grid view another is a list view so again i'll click on a grid view okay next under this particular my drive you have another option available shared with me so whenever i'll click on this particular document whatever are the contents various peoples have shared with me so all that contents are visible over here so in this particular you can see whatever are the assignments which have been submitted by my students will be appearing over here that means whatever are the documents which have been shared by my particular student using google classroom all these contents are appearing under the particular feature and that is shared with me so these are the particular files or folders which are uh, which have been shared by my particular student or any particular person who has shared some of the document with me the next part is a recent whenever i click on a recent whatever are the re recent documents which you have created so all that are appearing just like just now i have opened the document and that document will be available it is today just now we have opened this particular document and in the recent options it is showing me in the uh, yesterday i have uploaded one video on my drive and that particular drive full, uh, that particular video is appearing over here okay similarly you have these are the earlier uh, earlier uh, earlier this week whatever are the tasks whatever are the files i have uploaded all these particulars are available over here okay now one very important part you can remove any of the file just by clicking on that particular file just like i'll click on that file and i'll delete the particular file or remove that particular file so my file or my video will getting removed where it will, has been at moment stored so that will try to see afterwards but at this moment of time we'll try to discuss an important feature which is provided by uh, google drive and that is regarding ocr again i'll repeat ocr is optical character recognition okay what this particular feature is we'll try to see it by very simple document so i have this paper cutting available okay which is saying that mumbai corona sati mission zero okay and what i am making i am just right clicking on that particular document and i am opening this particular document with google docs so what i have performed please try to understood carefully i have clicked on that particular paper cutting i'll right click on that particular paper cutting okay and again i am opening this particular document by using google docs so i'll click on google docs so this particular paper document will be getting connected or getting opened in a google docs the very important thing is this is the particular document which is available okay now the very important part is this particular document which is available as a scan copy or a xerox so that will be converted in a ocr okay you can see the particular thing okay mahapalike cha upakram malarte dai sar bandup shigra kruti karyakram lokmat news network and all the details regarding that particular news are available over here matvakanshi upakram so idea is that in this way you can be able to open the particular or edit the particular document in any language i have chosen an example just for the sake of an example i have chosen this particular document as a word uh, as a marathi document you can choose marathi hindi urdu or any other language so any other document can be directly opened by using google docs so this is the very key feature you just don't need to purchase any type of ocr software what you have to perform you have to load the particular file which you would like to convert as in an ocr 
on your drive and just open it in a Google Docs. So again, I'll repeat what we have performed so that I'll tell you. Okay, we have just right clicked on that document and we have opened that document by using Google Docs. So this way you can be able to convert the particular file in the form of an OCR and as per your need you could be able to do the changes in that also any file can be opened just like what I'm making I'm trying to open this particular certificate which has which has been provided by uh, academic staff college so what I'm making I'm just clicking on right clicking on that particular document open with Google Docs the moment I have opened that particular document that document will be open in a in a in a doc format and that means everything whatever is being available within that <clears throat> within that particular document will be converted in the form of a uh, word file okay so this this is a particular maybe due to net problem you might have the particular difficulty in loading the document so just like we have seen the paper cutting exactly that way you can be able to you can be able to convert any particular document by using this Google Docs. Okay, we'll try to see this particular afterwards. So these are the particular features which have been available. So in a recent, whatever are the recent activities which you have carried out with your Google Drive will be appearing. Okay, the next part is starred. Okay, at this particular moment of time under the start, I have not put any particular document. So what document you can be able to make it as a star? So whatever are the documents which are frequently needed by you, you can make it as a star. Okay, and by using this particular feature, you can be able to easily find it out that particular document. Okay, next under the trash, whatever are the files which you have removed temporarily goes into this particular account, and that is the trash. So, idea is that just like just now I have deleted one video, and that video goes into the trash. Okay, again, I'll read right click on that particular one and I'll make it delete forever. So, idea is that you can call it as a something like that of a recycle bin feature means any document suppose by mistake you have deleted so don't bother that document goes into the trash but suppose someone has deleted forever and again delete forever so idea is that again now this video is nowhere okay now it is removed permanently okay so, so now this particular document is open and you can see my particular certificate is getting opened in a text form Okay, so idea is that whatever are the contents of that certificate are getting converted into the OCI. So this way you can be able to use this particular feature and that is a Google Drive feature. Okay, ne next very important thing regarding this particular Google Drive is I already told you you have a particular storage of 15 GB available and from among that 15 GB I have 3.9 GB data used at this moment of time. Up till now I have used 3.9 GB data. Okay. One very important part over here, this 15 GB data storage is totally free. You can use it free of cost, but suppose someone might need somewhat more amount of storage, so you have to buy the storage. So I'll click on that buy storage. <coughs> so you can see over here, you can get, again, free GB data is free for you. Okay, for 100 GB, you have to pay 130 rupees per month. For 200 GB, you have to pay 210 rupees per month, and in this way, you can be able to extend this up to 2 TB. Okay, so idea is that you can be able to make an extension of this particular Google Drive up to 2 TB, and for 2 TB, you have to pay something 6,500 rupees per month, 6,500 rupees per year. Very sorry, and six or 6 650 rupees per month so for any organization suppose they would like to keep a backup of their particular data properly so they can be able to use this particular feature so this is the simple way you can be able to create you uh, make use of this particular drive now the next part we'll try to see ki how you can create the folders in this particular so i am clicking on this new option okay so the very first option available will be folder and I'm going to put a name of something and that is a test. So this is the particular folder I have created and I'll try to click on a create. So you can see under the folders, I have, I have a folder available with the name and something and test. I'll click on that folder. Okay, so nothing available over here. So if you will need to add any files in this particular folder, so there are two ways. One way is you can drag the file into this particular folder. Okay, so you can minim, uh, you can resize your particular drive and you can drag any particular uh, file, whatever is being needed. 
another simplest way is just right click on that particular one and you can choose the option and that is upload files okay i am suggesting not to use a dragging option okay because it is difficult for most of the people to drag the file okay so it is a better to choose this option and that is a upload files it is giving you all the particular files whatever are being available over here i am choosing suppose this particular file all rm notes and i am clicking on okay open so it is showing you uploading one item or one file so obviously as as uh, the size of the particular file is larger it may takes few minutes for making an uploading of that particular file once this particular file is getting uploaded you will get a message over here just like over here it is showing that less than a minute left okay after the uploading is complete you will get a tick over here which indicates that your particular file has been uploaded successfully so this is the particular file which is uploaded it is available in a pdf form okay and now i can be able to access it so in this way it is possible for you to upload any file just by right clicking on the particular folder area and choosing upload file similarly it is possible for you to upload a folder also you can upload any particular folder by using this particular feature now again we'll now we'll see how we can use the feature of sharing a document means means suppose it is needed for me to share any document with any particular person so at that moment of time what features how you can access that thing so that we'll try to see so first of all i'll click on my drive so these are the particular uh, folders available under my drive under this folder i'll choose any particular folder just like suppose i'll choose this aqr now once this particular aqr has been opened i'll suppose need to share this particular file okay so i have taken a file something aqar 2011 12 and now i'll need to share this file with some particular number of people so for sharing the document you have to right click on that document you will get multiple option and under that particular option you have get shareable link and another option is share so i'll choose the second option and that is a get shareable link so i have got a shareable link in this particular shareable link you have three types of accesses given to the user so what are that accesses we'll try to see he can view the file means he could be able to just open the file and he could be able to read the contents from that file another option is a commenter he can be able to make comment on that particular file so commenting option has been provided to him and the last but most important one and that is a editor so in an editor option he could be able to delete any content he could be able to add some content so any operation he can be able to carry out if you have given an access of the type editor so most better option will be viewer okay so you can give this particular type of option viewer but suppose you would like to share any document and you will need next person to make changes in that document also so at that time of course you have to choose the last option and that is an editor okay now once this particular task has been done you can copy the link okay so this is the particular google drive link getting generated you have to copy this link and you can share it via mail to the user to whom you would like to share the document so this is a one way okay this is the simplest way you can be able to share a document another way is again i'll choose the same document right click on that document and i'm trying to choose the option and that is the share once the share option has been given share with people and groups so it is asking me to add the people to whom i am trying to share or access this particular file so i am putting the name over here so i have to put the email address of that particular people so suppose this is the particular mail i have given so i have passed pande so suppose this is the person to whom i am trying to uh, share the file and again there is one option and that is a notify people okay so by clicking on this particular option notify people means whenever you will try to send a link so automatically notification goes to the particular person okay so i'll try to give the notification something please check the file attached 
okay so this type of message i have given and suppose i'll click on a send so automatically a notification goes to the particular person and again you can add multiple people over here so as per your need you can be able to add any number of people over here okay so suppose this is another mail i have added so in this way any number of options you can be able to give again the same facility is available over here okay ki what type of feature you would like to give okay ki viewer option or you would like to give a particular type of access of commenter or you have been allowed a editor type of access so you can be able to provide any type of access so suppose i have given this viewer option and suppose i'll click on the send option so automatically whatever are the number of people to whom i have added over here so to all these people an email goes regarding the notification which is saying a message please check the document okay so this way it is possible for you to use the sharing feature okay and cancel this okay this feature of sharing you can choose it right from this moment also just like i'll again choose the particular file which i'd like to share something it is aqar 2011 12 okay i can create shareable link from this option also okay that means one option is you can be able to make a right click and you can choose this file okay you can create a shareable file of that particular by choosing this option so these options are available over here also you can either right click on the document okay and you can get these two options or just by choosing an, a particular file you have these two options also available okay so this way it is possible for you to use some of the features of google drive so i hope you have understood regarding these features facilities provided by google drive and i hope that in near future you will definitely make use of these features provided by google drive thank you thank you very much